Interesting new pairings. You know, last season, obviously, when we picked up, it was a six-year time jump, and everybody had changed. There were, you know, new relationships, and Clark was a mom, and, you know, Octavia turned into this creature called Blood Reina. And this season, we kind of, even though it's a 125-year time jump, we pick it up emotionally right where we left it. So the dynamics are really a carryover from last season. Because it's like cryo, you go to sleep, you wake up the next day, it's 125 years later, but for you it feels like the next morning. Mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of fallout from Clark leaving Bellamy to die in the pits and Octavia and all of the sort of reign of Blood Reina. So yeah, we're gonna, it'll be lots of conflict for sure. And then they meet some new people and that screws everything up. So all bets are off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a little bit angry. So, <laughs> is this mine now? That's mine. <laughs> Anything you can tell us about the new planet? Um, you know, we're being very coy about it, I know. I, there's two stars, we know that. So it's got two suns, uh, which play, it's not just a little pretty picture in the sky, which we'll see a lot, it's also thank you. Um, it affects the world, it affects the atmosphere. The, the stars themselves sort of, you know, eclipse and shit happens. So, um, I can't really get into it too much, that was probably what I should have said, but yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I hope that, it's the tricky thing, you know, to go shoot a new planet in the same location that you've been shooting it for five seasons. Um, that's definitely been a challenge, but I think it's, I think it's beautiful and hopefully people will agree. One kind of uh, tweets and challenge they will find in this planet. I can't tell no. you. Yeah. About Octavia. Yes. What kind of redemption she's looking for? You know, she feels like she should have had a hero's death. On, in episode 12 last year on the battlefield, in the gorge, she, she was ready to die for the, the other three um, people who she cared about, especially her brother and Indra. No offense to Gaia. Um, but she was ready to sacrifice herself and then that was kind of like taken away from her. So. You know, there's a little Lieutenant Dan from, from Forrest Gump, remember how he like was railing at, at God? Like, she feels like she deserved that and she didn't get it, and now she's kind of a, a loose cannon a little bit for a little while, but she's gonna hopefully get her shit together relatively. Hopefully it'll take less than a whole season. <laughs> Any new characters that we should, um, you know, expect to interact with? The yeah, they're gonna, yeah. you know, it'll take a little while for them to meet the, like, I would say, what has become of Allegis Three, the party that they that landed on the planet 200 years ago. Everything they find is sort of a result of that landing party. Mm -hmm. um, and a big part of the season's mystery is what happened to Allegis Three. And, um, you know, it's a, a little, if you know from American history, the Roanoke colony, the ghost yeah. colony. Uh, I'll probably screw that up if I can talk too much about the history of it, but, you know, the idea that what happened to them, you know, and so we're going to tell the story. Our heroes are going to have to piece that mystery together and hopefully uh, not die in the process. About Maddie. Uh, Maddie. What's going to be her leadership in this, in this new world? And you know, it's tricky because there's not a lot of people left to lead and a lot of the people are in cryo when the season begins. Um, but you know, she made a choice to be the commander and to keep the flame and, and Clark respects that choice. And like a good parent, I think, you know, when your child makes a choice, they have to take it seriously. Also, no, I mean, the child has to take it seriously. She has to train, she has to master the flame. The flame is not something that like, uh, ha doesn't have a mind of its own and you really need to train, you need the flame keeper for that. So we'll, we will explore that aspect of her character as she tries to uh, come to terms with what it means to be the commander, what it means to have all of those minds in her head. You know, it's crazy making and it has made commanders crazy in the past. And so um, it's a fun storyline that I, that I think people will like. No, they're not going to be woken up at the same time. I think it's a little bit analogous to what Dioza did last year, how she woke up a, you know, she, there was, I don't know, 400 prisoners or whatever, and she woke up a landing party to go sort of explore and figure out what the ground was like, and our heroes do a similar thing. So.
spoiler, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My writers are listening, so. <laughs> uh, so with these new characters coming in, the conflict between the, uh, the characters we know, are they going to kind of band together? Does that help them get over old conflicts and have new... Yeah, they'll, they'll have some time to work out their stuff. Um, and they really do want to do better. One of the themes of the season and the way the show changes is that it's not about, you know, how far will you go to survive? At what point does the good guy become the bad guy? Because they do so much to keep their people alive. That's what the show's been about. This season, you know, they come down to this new world as people who have a lot of baggage and have done a lot of things and interpersonally there's a lot of conflict. Um, and they want to do better. They've got Monty's sort of dying wish would, would, for them was to be the good guys. And they're going to try very, very hard to do that. Especially Clark. I think she's, you know, it's funny, Eliza and Bob, who are here with us today, uh, have been giving me, have been teasing me because every script someone says, what about doing better? We're here to do better. So it might not show up in every episode, <laughs> but it was in every script. So, so far. We're only in episode six, I think. Shooting four. Anyway. Okay. Is there anything you can tell us about the upcoming season that nobody knows about yet? Uh, Bob's directing an episode. Oh. Hmm. That's newsy. That's big news, actually. He, yeah. he blew it. We, we did a... I don't know what we did. We were at some panel thing. Not our panel, which is later. And Bob broke the news at that thing. So it's not really a scoop, but... <laughs> Scoop-ish. Scoop adjacent. Okay. <laughs> This will be the last questions, if there are any. If not, then we'll take them. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.